Hello and welcome to my uh, new video tutorial on my uh, bombing run script on how to use it and how to implement it. So first off we have uh, four vehicles here a tank, a marshal, truck and a hunter HMG and I'm gonna call in an airstrike on this so I'm gonna open up my radio channel which I put the trigger and select alpha and the bombing run will commence so it's spawning quite a far away quite far away and about 30 seconds prior to reaching the targets it will pop red smokes on the target position uh, multiple red smokes there we go to signal to show that this is where the bombing run will occur so uh, the bomber itself would sort of know of it, know that way where, where to drop the payload. And we're expecting a plane from the left here. It's going to be a CSAT plane. I can't remember the name of him, I'm afraid, but there it is. It's coming in. Bombs have been dropped. And there we have them. Bam. Alright, so watch the damage. What is the damage? It looks total. The tank actually managed to survive this time. But in general, the bombing run was a success. I don't think that tank is in a very good shape anyway. Alright. Uh, also, the uh, bombing run is not 100% accurate. It will deviate with between 100, well, from from uh, well up to 100 meter from the center target in the line that the plane is flying. So it won't deviate much sideways, but in it might drop short and it might drop a little, uh, a little late, in uh, randomly, and some phone salesman. Never mind. Uh, so yes, now damn it, that bloody phone call just ruined me, ruined me uh, video here. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so it's slightly random. It can drop a bit low, short, and a bit uh, late. And I'm gonna just skip time by 12 hours. And here we are now. It's night time. We have eight ifrits set up over there, and I'm gonna call in my second trigger, which is a NATO bombing run so it will be a NATO plane the text you see in the lower left that bomber airstrike inbound it's only shown in the editor so you know that you've done something uh, well you did things right the things are working it will not show in any multiplayer game And now we're just gonna wait for a plane. But as it's night time, smokes are not as uh, as as uh, easy to see for the plane, so to say. So uh, instead, I have uh, have it set so that it will pop flares instead of smoke grenades when it's a specific time of day, a certain time of day. And you can see the plane has its lights on. Unfortunately, I don't know how to turn them off when they're in careless mode. If someone uh, knows of it, let me know. For now, the lights are on, I'm afraid. Oh, there we go. Four bombs have been dropped. What's the damage? It looks like the center vehicles are intact, but they are more or less damaged nonetheless. Yes, most of them, are, well, all of them are missing one wheel here and there. No, 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 there is one that has not lost a wheel. But overall the damage is uh, quite high, quite a lot of damage has been made on these uh, vehicles right here. Alright, so now when I've showed it off, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. Alright, so let's just um, move myself, oh come on. There we go. Let's move over. Let's go Almira. Almira is open. No, 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 no. Let's make it more exciting than that. Let's have a town. There we go. Here's a town. 
Then again, I won't see much there, will I? <laughs> Maybe I should have planned this. Never mind, I can be here. Here, here is fine. All right, let's uh, put down a few vehicles just to show where I want it to blow up, or rather, where I'm gonna call in the airstrike. Let's take a hunter as well. And no, let's take a bunch of hunters uh, just for for convenience. All right. So now we have a position or something that I want to blow up. We're gonna move over to the uh, folder. You want to unpack my script in a folder called scripts, and then the Nikki bombing run SQF in there. When you open it up, you have a detailed, uh, well, bunch of text here that uh, tells you how to use the script. Quite, uh, quite detailed. So, uh, first off, we have the faction parameter. We have a spawn marker for the plane. We have the target marker. Uh, whether you want smoke and flares on or off, it's aka if you want smokes to be deployed for the second sprite to bombs been dropped or not. Uh, how many bombs you want dropped, the exit marker, where the plane will despawn, whether it can take damage or not, and if you want more than one plane to come in. Uh, they'll be coming in uh, with about a second and a half in between. So um, if you have three planes here, say, let's say you put a three in here, now three planes coming in and they're gonna come in in a file formation or column formation and they will drop the bombs on the same target. Uh, the smokes and flares will all be called ones so you want to have a shit ton of uh, smokes if you do that. So here you have the details for everything, how what, what you can enter, what's default, what you need, what you don't need. But for now I'm just gonna copy this bit and I'm gonna edit it right in here so let's make a trigger you can have any condition you want but just for convenience here I'm gonna take radio command Charlie so I can control it myself and I want so we can have NATO we can have CSAT or we can have AAF this time let's take AAF um, here you will type the name of the marker where you want the plane to spawn in so I'll call it Spawn one, just because I already have a spawn marker. Target five. Uh, let's see here. I want smokes and flares to be deployed. How many bombs do I want? I want seven because now I want to see more explosions. And exit five. Or rather, let's just let's keep it all. Spawn five, target five, exit five. Uh, whether I want them to take damage or not, true, is then then they can be shot down. And if you put false, they can't be shot down, then it will succeed no matter what. And how many planes I want to show up. I can have two planes here, as a matter of fact, just to show it off, because you've seen it uh, come in with one plane for now. Alright, so when I've set that up, I'm going to put down the target 5 marker right in between everything. Now you want to put the spawn quite far away um, let's see at least for six maybe seven clicks away just to make sure that the smokes will deploy correctly and all that. Alright there's the old markers. Let's remove that. Bye bye. Alright so yes there it is. Spawn and let's have exit 5 over there. Alright, so spawn 5, yeah, let's put it up there just because, so I can find it. Spawn 5, it will spawn here when the trigger is called. It will fly towards this target marker. It will drop its payload and then it will go towards the exit marker and the spawn. So that's about it. Let's preview. <coughs> Alright, so we have the vehicles up front there. We're going to have a nice view from here, I think. We can actually go into camera mode, so never mind. 
Um, Alright, let's call it in. Airstrike is inbound, airstrike is inbound. It will say that once per plane. Um, Alright, so now we're in camera mode. I'm gonna go over here to get a good view of the whole thing. And there's unfortunately some waiting to do. Uh, I'm not. I, I have a script to uh, have it locate players. If you want to have it in a mission and have intense airstrikes that actually hit players, I will not cover that in this uh, tutorial. I will probably uh, bring that up in a um, different. I'll probably make a different uh, tutorial for that, so you can have bombing runs that actually locate players, and they will try and bomb you. But as I said, that will be in a uh, future video. Right, there are both the planes. And the bombs have been dropped. They're now going away. Oh. Destruction. <laughs> Alright, so they weren't in, uh, in a good line, but they still managed to blow everything up. Considering this, the the uh, two bombing runs, that makes uh, for a lot of sense. They were slightly spread out, so the bombs actually covered a lot of ground. And now the uh, planes are flying towards the exit marker. Um, so yes, that's uh, how easy it is. I'll um, put some links in to show you how uh, how it can look in a uh, actual mission in an actual mission. So uh, yeah, look into the description if you want to see it in action, and thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy.